Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use titles in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. This tutorial is backwards compatible. It works with just about any version of Adobe Premiere. It's a very similar procedure but I'm going to be using the 2017 edition. Now incidentally, adding titles is the same as adding text overlay to a video. So if that's what you're looking to do, then this is the tutorial for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to add titles in Adobe Premiere in just a few basic steps. Okay, so the first thing you need to do once you've created a sequence is to create the new title. So we go to File, New, and title or if you're into keyboard shortcuts hit the command and t keys together then you'll see a dialog box appear in the middle of the screen give your title a name in this case i'm going to call it premiere and select ok now you'll see a new window appear in the middle of the screen now it depends on how you've had it set up in the past whether it appears as a small window uh, to the left of your timeline window or as a larger box in the middle of the screen, but you can open and close it and make it the size you want. Certainly for the benefit of this video, I'm going to go to a large size so we can view everything available to us. And the first thing I'm going to do is hit the font tool on the left-hand corner, just below the arrow selection tool. I'm going to type in my text, Premiere Pro, 2017. So I've created a line return by hitting the enter key and my typography is now sitting on my frame. However, there's a couple of issues with it. First of all, I don't like the font and secondly, I can barely see it in the context of the scene that it's lying on top of. So I'm going to change a few things. There's an easy way to change the style of your font and if you look below the video window, there's a whole range of predefined styles that include different font types and shadow options to help give your font more impact. So let's just scroll through a few of those and see what difference it makes. I'm going to settle on the impact font in bold with a drop shadow already applied. So that's pretty close to what I want. The only thing I want to do now is move position so I can simply move it around with my mouse into the corner of the screen where I want it to appear in the video. I'd like to also change the font size. It's a little bit large for me at the moment. It's sitting on 100 points. If I want to drop it back to about 70 points, you can use the font size tool at the top of the screen, top middle, change that value, and then again, pick it up with my mouse and reposition it into that bottom corner. And you'll notice that I'm keeping it within the confines of the title safe gray box that appears in the screen. This is not going to appear on your final video. These are simply guides for you to recognize what your parameters are when you're dealing with text. You don't want to put it outside of this area because if it sits outside of the inner box or outer box, it's no longer title safe and it may not show up on various devices or screens in particular if you're exporting out video for TV or the use on large flat panel screens. Once you've done this, you may be ready to apply your font on top of your video and you can actually close that window that was appearing on the middle. Go to your project window and then drag it onto a layer above the video on your timeline. You'll notice that it appears for a very short duration. If you want to extend the duration, go towards the end of that little clip that it's placed on the timeline. You'll see that the marker changes to a red icon with an arrow, and you can then drag it and stretch it along your timeline. So I've now got that typography applied to my video across the area that I've defined on the timeline. And really, adding typography is as simple as those few basic steps. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel. You'll be notified of up and coming video releases. There'll be app review videos, discovery videos, tutorials just like this one, as well as unboxing and product reviews. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.